So this is the 891 Yesu that I have uh, done some stuff with. And I printed the uh, protection rails for this thing. And then the tuner is the kit that I built. And um, I'm not sure if I built the tuner perfectly because I find that it doesn't match uh, stuff quite as good as the internal tuner in my Yesu 50. So I may have incorrectly wound the toroids a little bit or who knows. So that's kind of one of the reasons like why for this particular one um, I would probably do it again in order there's a, a tuner that has a built-in battery and it's similar to this one um, but I'm not sure if it has all the same features so the way that I have this one set up here bring this in a little bit um, the plugs I'm using are these and if you get two of them soldered together that way I can tap this plug over here and I need to get a shorter piece, maybe just solder something together like that, about that short. Um, so this tuner has a plug in the back. So this is like kind of counterproductive for the rest of the stuff that I'm doing. So I have my, my plug here. Which, these plugs, they uh, tend to get loose. That's why you might see some people have converted them to uh, Anderson's. I don't see an idea or reason to have Anderson power poles on the back of the radio. The way this goes is that just goes on to here. Now we have a piggyback. Um, but the radio cable is now restricted by the length of this so I can only stretch it so far so basically um, we're we're stuck like with a shorter length cord now because of that one that's okay anyway um, let me find my battery where did I put the damn thing um, I have a little battery I was going to hook up just to show you guys really quick. Interesting. I'm not really sure where I put it. Uh, hopefully I didn't leave it outside. No, I did not. It's actually right over here. Uh, so this battery, these are $20 or less sometimes. It's a uh, 6 amp hour. It's kind of a goofy shape. If there was a way to like do something differently with it. I would, you know, maybe strap it to the radio like that, because um, it will it will run the radio. So, so the idea is, at some point, I'd like to have all of this running all by itself all kind of completely enclosed so this would be easier if it had its own battery that was rechargeable um, so basically there's a few on Amazon this tuner doesn't work as good as I've heard other people's so I think I might have not done something correctly and um, I don't know. So I'm just kind of like 
use it every once in a while. It works fine. I don't know why it looks like the tuner is scrolling. Because it doesn't look like that to me at all. Okay. Let's see if we can uh, pull up some stuff on Amazon. So, they have this one right here, $88. It just has one button on the front. And it says it only goes to 30 megahertz. And I think if we look at the back of it. Oh, and they may send you one or the other. Which, the old version is actually better than the new version. <laughs> so, this one's not as nice as what I have. And like it says, you might get the old version that has the extra button. Um, and is designed to actually have a battery and is also designed to go to cover six meters so I definitely wouldn't order from those guys so here's the one that I have and if you buy this one they give you a buck boost board and I forget what voltage it's for um, I can't remember. I think it's actually um, uh, designed to run off a of USB. I think there's actually a, a USB right here. And then they give you the cord to go here. So you could then put that and run it off of a battery bank. Which I, I thought about doing with mine. Because I have one of those little boards somewhere. It doesn't have a plug on it though. Um, so that's the same tuner. You just don't have to build it. You notice it says no battery. Now. Sometimes. If you, uh, so if you buy the kit and you build it, you won't get the display like that until you buy the case. So my kit came with an all blue display. The power wasn't in yellow. And I used the other OLED display that came, you buy a, an empty case. It comes with the buttons. But um, when you buy the kit, you only get one button, and that's just a single button tune only. These MFJ tuners are actually good. I don't know what this is. It's what they call the map tuner, maybe? Yeah. Well, these are like the cost of a LDG, but an LDG is probably more now. It looks like a LDG. Interesting. So this one might have the battery in it. Uh, and this is, I think, a QRP tuner. We're not interested in that. Even if you're going to go QRP, you might as well use a 100-watt tuner because they're barely rated for that anyway. Um, this one's a 30 megahertz.
no battery. This one is going to be the same board. Uh, this is basically... They don't show a good picture of it. This is exactly the same tuner with just one button in the all blue display. When you buy this as a kit, this is basically the one you're going to get. And this may or may not have a battery. It's the older USB. $74 is not bad. Uh, but it, it does have the one on the front that says charge. Now, usually the ones that actually um, only that have a battery, they won't show us the back of it. Um, You know, this one has a battery, and the reason why is because there's no power plug on the back. Um, so you either have to power it from a USB or charge it. But I mean, that's like super easy. So that one's not bad for 74 bucks. Um, there's no way for you to put the tuner in uh, bypass mode or do anything else as far as I know. You just have the one green button. Here's a, another one, which is going to be pretty normal. Power. Yeah. These are all over the place on Amazon. They have these little cool, uh, tiny little SWR watt meters. These are actually really, really nice also. It's like, they're not showing you what the damn thing looks like. So, it's got forward, antenna, battery, SWR. Uh, these are, these are cool um, for like a radio that where it doesn't have that or something, you know. The hell did we go? We ended up. Looks like it uh, backed out of my listing. I'm not seeing the one that I was looking for. That's a decent tuner. I have that one. I used to use it all the time. I used to use it mobile. Um, here's this one. This one is. Um, uh, this one may or may not have a battery in it. There's one that has a switch on the back to switch between charging and uh, so the compromise is you can uh, you can buy one that looks like the one I have and you'll have more functions. You'll have an on and off button, you'll have a tune button, you have an auto and a bypass button. And, but you won't be able to get a battery built in. Or you can get one like this, it's on and off, or just tuned. And it'll have a battery in it on some of them. Here's another SWR meter. There's another tuner. Uh, let me see. This might be a different one. For some reason, they're not, like, showing a dead-on picture of the face of the thing anymore. This one has tune, auto, and bypass buttons. It says it's only um, good for HF, no, no 6 meters. I don't know why, because I think they're all running the same board. Uh, 
I really want to buy that radio. <laughs> I know it's got some issues. So here's the assembled version of the tuner. $46. I bet if we click on that, it'll show us a suggestion of the other part. Um, see these little capacitors? Those are your capacitors that are handling 100 watts. So, um, I think in the kit they give you a couple spare ones. But, so, I had to wind all these and where it got complicated was this binocular over here um, and I wound these a little bit loose so I don't know if that's contributing to mine like not working amazing but this is a cool board that you could buy it does have SMA connectors on it um, but you could put this inside of a radio or something like that some kind of project you know and Technically, it should automatically tone. What I was trying to find was uh, the kit. Okay, so here's one of the kits right here. It's $35. There's two versions. There's one with a dark board like this. And there's one without it. And they're both the same as far as I can tell. So, when, the, when you buy the kit, you'll need to buy this. Because if you don't buy the case, you're not going to have the extra buttons. They don't give you everything you need, though. You're going to be missing wire and stuff like that that you need to hook up the switches. They give you everything else, I think, uh, if I recall correctly. Um, the instructions are very vague so this is like a terrible project see they show the SMA's sticking out but the kit doesn't come with SMA's it comes with SO239's um, but anyway that's what's on top of my radio and I, I bought the case for about $38 and the board for about $38 $36 so Let's just say I have $80 into it, um, but I could have just bought one already assembled for $95 that would have came with a little buck boost board. So it depends on how you want to do it, but I mean it's a really good tuner to match up with the 891 because it's so small. And you could have a battery pack if you were to build your own that would probably be able to sit alongside the tuner on top of the radio. Um, I was thinking about building a battery pack out of 18650s and just use like a case like the size of the, the tuner or you know print something that could I could scoot the thing over and it just it would occupy the top of the radio. Although right here is my speaker so as long as I don't block that I actually um, can hear better. But there's a lot of different tuners on here, you know. So, anyway, these uh, these rails are pretty cool. I printed those. They took like, um, I think eight hours a side or something ridiculous. You take a long time to print, and then you got to figure out how to print them. You can print them laying down, you know. You print them one part at a time because they're two piece or you can find the file for one piece or you can take the two pieces and use a software called mesh mixer and join them together but I just really I wanted something that I could you know, use to just tie things to the radio give it a little bit of protection you know that kind of deal so Anyway, that's my little Yesu 891 with the tuner I built.